What's up, gang? What's going on? Damn, I'm clutch here. Listen, it's Monday. You guys know I don't work on Monday mornings. Um, I work uh, Tuesday through Thursday. Tuesday through Friday, that is, uh, during the week, uh, doing security. But uh, but anyway, uh, just wanted to talk to you guys real quick this morning. Uh, another one of my videos in my journey toward a million. Uh, last night I spoke to you guys about communication, you know, and about not allowing people to, uh, talk you out of a good thing, a good thing. Uh, putting money towards your education is a good thing. And I'm not talking about college. I'm talking about self-education and learning and growing. That is a good thing. So, um, I told you guys about that last night. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about now is narrowing down what you truly want to do in your life. As I reread and listen to the audio as well on my book, Think and Grow Rich, um, it said you have to have a clear statement written down, which they called your definite chief aim in life. Okay. And you have to write that down and you have to read it over and over and over again and commit it to memory. And once you commit it to memory, you have to continually say it over and over and over again. It's such as the self-confidence formula that I wrote down that I talked to you guys about the other day from the, also the book, Think and Grow Rich. Um, I read it about two, three times a day out loud. It says that you're supposed to read it at least once a day. Listen. If your self-confidence is in the trash, okay, um, and right now, when it becomes comes to becoming a millionaire, I know I can do it, but my self-confidence is still not there on certain tasks and things that I need to do to become a millionaire. So um, I'm kind of like you know, dragging my feet on certain things that I need to do, and I need to have more energy to put toward what I'm tackling. And, and that is clearly and clearly important. And I want to tell you guys this is once you start putting energy towards something and it may not happen instantly, but other people will notice. Right. And you want to know how they're not going to notice. They, they may not even say anything good. OK. What you guys got to pick up on these subtle nuances. A lot of times people or other people are suffering with self-confidence issues. Okay, and when they're suffering with self-confidence issues, you may think that they're going to be saying, good job, you know, um, I'm very proud of you, or whatever. And they may just give you just a negative comment. You know, maybe meant to be humorous to them, but just hearing that, just hearing that negative comment may set you back because your self-confidence isn't at the level yet that it needs to be. So what I'm explaining to you guys here is that you have to understand the cues that happen when you start to do more and be more or even want more. People don't want you to be more. Uh, remember I, I was telling you guys about the uh, everybody walks around with the what's in it for me. People want to know what's in it for them. What can they get for themselves? What is your success going to do for them? Well, how is your success going to make their life better? And it's very difficult for them to break out of that. We do this as a, as a people because as humans, we have built in our mind our self-survival. Okay? And if it looks like, you know, maybe you're the provider for your family or, or, or you're um, one of the siblings in your family and you're trying to grow and do better and be better, either your parents may make those comments, your brothers and sisters may make those comments. Either way, everybody is afraid that you're going to break free of the unit, okay, become successful and leave them behind. So they will make those comments. They will be sarcastic. They will uh, say things meant to be a joke, but at the same time, it attacks your self-confidence. So I want you guys to not only... Um, kind of like not always talk to, you know, everybody about your goals and things that you're doing. Um, but uh, just put your head down and do it. Even sometimes your loved ones, man, you can't you can't tell them what you're doing because they get afraid. 
they get afraid and their little comment may throw you off. So listen, you and I is going to have to do a lot of work in silence. You know, me, I do a daily affirmation where I speak in the mirror every day of the things that I want to do, who I want to be, the person I need to become. And it's all for my family. But my family looks at me like I'm crazy. They're like, dad's out of his mind. Or my wife's like, this man has lost it. He's doing all these affirmations, listening to all this money, stick to me like a honey. You know, all of these things, talking, he's reading, thinking, go rich again for the fifth time, and he's still not rich. What is going on? He's still got two jobs. He's still working. He's still got credit card debt. We got these kids in college. We got all the student loan. What are we going to do? Well, I tell you what Daryl McClish is going to do. Daryl McClish is going to stay fast in my direction. And, and I'm going to seek counsel from people who have already achieved what I want to achieve. All right? That is what I'm going to do. Okay? I'm going to become more focused. I'm going to become more disciplined. Okay? And, and I, I'm going to develop, as Charlie Munger says, the assiduity of sitting on my ass and getting the work done. Come on, guys. You know what it is. You got to get the work done, man. You can't talk, talk, talk about becoming a millionaire, you know, making $5,000 a day, making six figures a month, being a multimillionaire. You can't talk all of that talk, all right, and want it to happen for yourself and not do the work. You know, as the Bible says, faith without work is dead. And that's not what you guys want for yourself, man. So listen, as I finish up, and talk to you today because I have work to do. I personally have to write 12 chapters this week for my book to get back on pace for my April 1st uh, completion date. So um, I got blocks that I set up, you know, in my journal of writing blocks, two hour writing blocks. Then I break off and I do some push ups or whatever. Um, drink some coffee, drink some uh, mineral water, whatever I'm doing. Um, then I go back in, write for two hours. After that, I go to lunch, eat lunch, come back. I do a spin bike session, write for another two hours. Okay, today has to be the day. Today is my day off, and it has to be uber productive, all right? So I'm um, not uber productive, uber deluxe. <laughs> productive. So we're going to get this done. We're going to enjoy this day. I want you guys to have a fantastic day yourself. All right. Um, I love you. Stay beautiful. Stay fantastic. Okay. And this is my journey to a million. And I'm only a couple of days in, man, maybe a weekend and two videos a day. I'm learning and growing. I'm learning and growing. Keep watching. Keep watching. This is going to be a hell of a telenovela. That's for damn sure. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.